Hi, this is Mindy at Adventure More Acres. I just wanted to share with you um, that my Easter eggers are now 12 weeks old. Um, I wanted to just show you a little bit more on their coop and how much they've changed since we first got them. Um, if you have not liked and subscribed, please do so. And be sure to watch all of my episodes with my Easter eggers. I have 16. Um, I turned out that I thought I had 16 hens, but I had four roosters. Um, I will show you the difference, so you, maybe you can tell if you're looking to see what's the difference between a hen and a rooster. Easter eggers are called that because they are a mixed breed. Um, they lay eggs of different colors. They could be blue, um, greens, and even maybe even pinks and purples. I can't wait till they start laying here in the next month or so. Hopefully that'll happen. So let me just show you around my coop a little bit. And... Let me show you here. We're going to walk over here. There's a one up with the tail in the air. You can see it right here. This is one of my boys. You can tell with Easter eggers by all this red on their wings and the way that they have a large comb on top. And you will also be able, I can compare that right here to my Luna here. This is my bearded lady. She, uh, you see how the combs are different? This is another hen. I want you to take a look at the hen's tail versus my rooster's tail. And you can see the stance on them is different, and their body shape even shows a little bit different. Let me see if I can get a couple more of these up here. This is my Luna girl. Hey, Luna. Say hi. We have this little picnic table where they get their scraps. Um, we give them the tops off the strawberries, extra corn on the cob, um, the tops off the radishes. This over here is my most beautiful rooster. Come here, Pan. Pan. I want you to notice how her feather, his feathers how they come down around his neck like that. And then you can see saddle feathers. It looks like he's got a saddle on. And again, you notice the tail. And um, you can tell Loki's coming back over here. Loki's really got that face going on. And my bearded lady following me everywhere I go. That's what she does, they follow me. This here is Lilith, another one of my beautiful hens. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's Pixie. Lilith is very similar looking. <laughs> And right over here we have Eggnog. If you go back and look at some of my um, earlier ones, actually, no, that's Bonnie. I've got a couple of them that look very similar to each other. Down here on the ground here is Jinx. Jinx hasn't changed too much in his looks as far as. And right next to Jinx laid down my other rooster, Mickey. Mickey used to be Everest until we found out that Mickey was a boy. And you will notice how large his comb is. And you can also tell by seeing, looking at their tails here in the back, the little bit difference on their shaping. And you hear Pan over here. This is my most beautiful. I love her. Love him. Pan over here making a little bit of some crows going on. You see his stance, how long his neck is? That gives it away that he is definitely a rooster. And I think that he is just so beautiful. Very large comb. This used to be Sky. And he's now Pan. You can see his feet are actually bigger. His stance is different than the chicken, than the hens. I'm trying to show you. Hi, Queenie. This is Queenie. Queenie is almost always on my lap getting petted. Uh, most of my chickens are um, very much let me pet, handle them, sit on my lap. Um, like there is Nugget. I don't know. Queenie, nobody wants to see you anymore. Stop that. They like to go on camera, I think. They just like to see themselves. This here, oh, my bearded lady here picking up my leg. Let's go check out, let's go see what's over here. Um, I have a chair in here right now because I've been sitting with them. Uh, I'd like to see, this is inside their coop. If you notice, I have the solar lights that come on. Um, they're motion censored and they charge solarly so I don't have to worry about electricity out here. You can see into their coop. Um, they have plenty of dirt down here that stays pretty dry so they can take their little dust baths. Right there is one of my my fourth rooster. You can see all that red on her on him. That is penguin, and uh, he's the last one I think is to think is a rooster. I'm still wondering occasionally if it might be a hen, but that red should be a dead giveaway that it is an Easter egger. It's a rooster. Uh, you can see right up here where they perch. Up here on the outside, they got a perching bar, and they've got two or three on the inside there. They are just beautiful. I love my chickens. I've gone with this um, automatic feeders that uh, you can 
put the bag of feet in and it lasts a lot longer than just the little bowls and makes less of a mess. The weather doesn't get into it, doesn't get wet, they don't waste a lot. I think it's saving me money. It may have been a little expensive to get, but I've done the same with the water. Look at that, isn't that a beautiful rooster? This is Flower, she's my hey hey of the group. If you've seen Moana, you know what hey hey means. I, that rooster's crazy, jumps on my head. Honey's back there, she's the only one I have of that color. She's absolutely beautiful. Look at her legs there. She's amazing. I think they're all amazing. This one here hanging out by me is Freya. Freya is one of my small, she's I'm one of my, not let her touch her. <laughs> but as you can see, my hens here, all gathered around my chair looking for me, I'm sure. As you can see, they're all very similar. But when you look at those roosters, you can pick out the similarities in these roosters. Yeah, it's Pan. Look at that comb on him. He's just beautiful. And these are all 12 week old, they're 12, just about 12 weeks or 11 weeks, six days, I believe. The younger batch are. I had six from the first batch and 10 in the second. Just wanna give you, I have another extra water out here so they have plenty of water in the heat. We've put a tarp over part of the here to keep them more shade. And they like to lay underneath the table here. It's one of their favorite spots. Oh, that's Freya making some noise here. Talking to me. And there, see, there's Pixie and there's Lilith. How much those two looks alike. When they were babies, Jinx looked just like Lilith. That's why he was named, she was named Jinx. It's kind of funny. See, Jinx is over here on the ground. She's got less black. But I was just hoping to give everybody a chance today to see how much these little chicks have changed. How different they all look now. They're all Easter Eggers. And how these four roosters are so much different than the hens. Freya is still following me, picking up my boot. These guys love all kinds of leftovers. Come here, Gwen. Isn't he beautiful? It's Lilith there. There's Hey Hey. That's Flower. AKA Hey Hey. He thinks that she's planning to jump on my head. Because she thinks she's funny. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment area. Or you could message me at adventuremoreacres at gmail.com. This rooster here is just checking me out. Aren't they just beautiful? Look at those feathers. Look at those awesome colors on these guys. You just saw the one in the back there. Pixie back there scratching. They do a lot of scratching out here, looking for their own bugs, and uh, been letting some, bringing some of the grass to them, letting a couple of them out at a time to free range. Uh, I can only do a couple at a time because I'm afraid they're going to take off yet. And there's Queenie in my chair waiting on me. All right, so I just wanted to give you guys a little look. I got to tell you about this little hole right here. This here, I sometimes just toss food through or leaves and grass, but it was actually built because the way my doors are. It has a lock here on the inside so I can lock myself in. But there's also a lock on the outside. So I can get to it. And my three-year-old has locked me in. So, my husband built this little thing right here so I can't get locked in again. Crazy, right? Um, see some chains hanging up here? Let me see if I can... I uh, have a couple of these. These are for treats. Hang there. You put the treats through it and then they eat the treats out of it. So, we have that. We hang down. I fill it usually once or twice a week. I also have the other hanging. This here is one of the quen squ hen squares. Uh, meal mealworms and seeds and sunflower seeds. And that goes into the basket and the chickens peck at it and get all that yummy treats off. But you don't want to give them too many treats, especially this young. You want to make sure they're getting most of their nutrients from their feed. I think if there was anything else. Just keep showing you the difference between the roosters and the hens. Uh, there's a rooster in my chair. 
What's you doing up there, Gwen? Notice the red ones. Don't want the red on there. One, two, three. Right over here. Those are the roosters. The roosters at this age have the largest combs and they are darker red. You can notice the combs on the uh, hens are there. But see how they're very light and they're orangey colored? It's one of the biggest differences in the combs. See, this is honey. She has the most beautiful coloring too. See how, come here Mickey. Mickey! The different colors of their comb. Just wanted to spend a few minutes out here so y'all can watch them and see how they get along. We're in their run right now. This, they're here during the day. I get them out in the morning. Open up their door so they have all this run all day long. And then at night when I come out, they have usually, what's that one doing? Are you crazy, rooster? Uh, I close this little door here so that they are locked inside here, which is all kept up with lots of extra, the chicken wires and the other wires and no way anything's going to try to get in here, keep it nice and safe. You can see up in there through the hole where they sleep, they've got perches and they've got hay, a little bit of hay in the nesting boxes and um, pine on the bottom to help keep the smell out. And there's a vent in the back. Well, hi there, Trixie. What's you doing in here? You're usually out here. Hi, Trixie. <laughs> Trixie, come here, baby. She's like, nope. Here's something you don't hear much talk about, just if you're a brand new person to chickens. Um, chickens have two different kinds of poo. They have a very wet, nasty, I'm going to see if I can find it, I know that's kind of gross, kind of a wet, nasty splat that's mostly liquid. And um, I, that would, I would say kind of, you know, here's a spot right here where you can just see it's like that. And then they have sometimes where they empty their vent sack. Um, I'm not remember exactly what it's called, but that's when you get the larger pockets of that white and brown. So if you see this from your chickens, it's normal. And if you see this from your chickens, that is also normal. All chickens will do both kinds. Kind of like a, a urinating and a, and a feces type thing. So don't freak out if your chickens have two different kinds of poos. Don't think they have diarrhea or freak out. It's all very normal to have, they have two different kinds. Um, I can't think of anything else, guys. Like I said, ask me some questions. Get to know my flock here, and I will see you soon. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.